Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review, or magazine review, I should say, of The Strand magazine. Obviously, a fairly up-to-date current issue. Of, no, it isn't. 130 literary pages, January 1910. Now, I bought this at a recent uh, book market, and apparently it's volume number 39 and issue 229, apparently. So, uh, but it's got a lovely illustration. Now, I love these old books, mainly because of all the adverts, as well as the illustrations inside. The stories interesting i have read through it over the years i've bought many of these sort of books and they're always great it's falling to pieces i even the person actually put some uh, tape over the back so uh, it was very rusty and staples there going through would have raised me to death so i'm just going to go through some of the adverts and things and it's just i think they're lovely all various things turkish baths at home now that is something that'll be quite useful don't know however a sauna would be quite nice but i love that turkish bath at home Efficient, absolutely safe, outside heater, adjustable seat, heat regulator, and so on and so on. No less. It actually, does it say the price? I will buy one. A mere 35 shillings. £1.50. I don't know how much that is in dollars, but it's not very much. Obviously, probably was then. And you've also got here, Frenchman Mocha Coffee. Oh, wow. You know, like those sort of things. I love those sort of adverts. Samuel Samuel's Pajama Suits. No less. So you've got a little... Jama suit there. Now it's probably the magazine will probably fall to pieces and I'll probably end up with rusty staples all over the place. So see it in spring. See it spring. Press stud fasteners there. Dress fasteners. So those sort of things. Also pianos. Restful reading. Something I could have. That would be very nice. Look at that. Nice little. Uh, I've actually got one. Always very useful. Those sort of things. However, the page numbers are really weird. So you go through this and you've got like page 45, whatever etc oh there's a we'll see some stories there the long night stanley wayman ladies tailors and you can see obviously the fashions of the period as well as also all the other various adverts waterproof coats very useful at the moment where it is raining quite regularly so there's a waterproof coats there uh seven and six not bad and also shoe sign uh, damp proof non-squeaking shoes also loop developer pretty good there's a nice sort of exercise and thing. Makes you fit, keeps you fit. Very useful. However, I said page number is very odd because you've got page 74 and then starts the actual magazine. Now, I don't know how many pages are in this because, because of its weird sort of numbering. But you've got some lovely pictures there as well. Some photos there. Very nice. Uh, St. Celia. The most beautiful photograph, it says there. And you've got some lovely photographs here. The ideal subject of etc. I think they're just absolutely glorious. And you've got here The Infernal Machine by Edgar Jepsen. Oh, lovely little story there. So you've got the sort of, I guess, a sort of science fiction story slash historical science fiction. Maybe nothing to do with science fiction. I haven't read it, to be honest. So uh, they, these stories are quite good and they're quite nice to dip into. It's not one that I'm suddenly going to think, you know what, I must read some of these old books. But Still, they're actually worse. And also the articles are always interesting. So you've got here about auctioneers, most striking auction rooms. Of course, probably long gone, all these places. And they actually got some colour as well. Wee! An actual, the first, my, sorry, my first airplane. Very handy, that. My first airplane by H.G. Wells, no less. Very nice. Actually, I think, oh yeah, that's on the front cover. My first airplane by H.G. Wells. And it actually, obviously, it's an article. It's not a short story, as far as I can see there. And you've also got some lovely pictures of trees. <laughs> All very useful. May, obviously, the... Oh, that one's there. The Mel Melonville Express, Express Man. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes some of these are quite hard to read. Obviously, the script uh, by Aubrey Hopwood. Another story there of Pain of Death by C.C. Andrews. Revels... Revel Stoke came, coming to the surface and turning on his back to float, etc. Well, that's quite good as well. So let's just go through to the last one. Of course, you've got some more pictures there, which is always very nice. And this is actually quite a nice quality one, other than, unfortunately, the very, very rusty stables. And also you've got here Curiosities as well. Very strange. Very odd. <laughs> the Parsnip Python. No less. Sort of thing, obviously, was a massive interest back in 1910, I guess. Many-sided photograph. Don't know. Maids of the Plain by Isabel Ballard. Not J.G. Ballard, but anyway. Millions to Save Minutes. Railway Building. And also Purling in Queensland. 
no less. And there's some other adverts. And I have no idea if this is complete. It probably has probably missed a load of pages. There must be. No, I'm saying that. It's got the index to the advertisers. I assumed that it was a back cover to this at some point. But obviously that's long gone, sad to say. As you like it, not the play. And you've also got music library there. See a long list of uh, <laughs> music that I've never heard of. I mean, probably um, Nazareth with Verdu, Clad, Death of Nelson, General Grant's Grand March, The Village Blacksmith. Certain classic records. But, uh, and also you've got here, Buy the Best Seeds, Seeds That Grow, and Roses, etc. Pretty good. Chipping, oh, what's that? Chipping by Stanley Wayman. Or oh, Stanley Wayman again. Turns up obviously a lot in this. I say hopefully not too many bits of rust coming off this. However, what a lovely look. I love these ones as well. You've got even here. Vote for Fries at Coco, which has done a yeoman service to the Constitution. Pure concentrated co cocoa. Southampton Street. Oh, I love Southampton Street. That's near Covent Garden, I assume. I think that's near Covent Garden. I think that's where Mountain is completely wrong. Oh, Southampton Row, maybe. Southampton Street. Oh, probably wrong. Completely wrong. But it must be London. There's a lovely, what's the name of London there? I love these sort of things. Illustrated Monthly. So, uh, worth checking out. This one cost me £5, probably way over the price of this. But I, I must say, I do love to get these sort of like example of one or two bits of uh, lovely period 1910. And I think it's just great. I love, I say, love the adverts. Um, Absolutely fascinating to look through, even though obviously all these are long gone in most cases, other than fry. fries, well, they're not really fries chocolate anymore, I assume. Fries cocoa, apparently six pence as well, no less. Yeah, six pence there. But a fascinating little magazine, and uh, so I've got quite a few other magazines that I will be doing quick reviews of. It's not particularly a review in terms of detailed analysis of all the uh, various stories. I haven't really read them all. I've just flicked through them and they, you know, they're great. And I've got a few little books like this as well where they're similar sort of style and uh, they're, they're readable. I wouldn't say they're uh, as, I think they're better nowadays to be honest, but uh, it's still fascinating. The Strand Magazine, 130 literary pages as it says there. 